All right, so today what we are going to do is we are going to do a versus video between the Cobalt XDR brushless hammer drill versus the Ryobi brushless hammer drill. I only tested the Cobalt a few times, so I'm really not too familiar with it. I used the, uh, the Ryobi a lot in my earlier videos, but this is going to be an interesting one because I'm wondering how well these actually do against each other, considering that this is a little older and this one's brand new. It's brand new. Uh, XDR line. So I'm curious to see on how well this is going to work. I will say that this Ryobi actually is a pretty decent hammer drill. It, it really is. Now, are there more powerful ones out there? Yes. All right, but in this video, we are going to be using the Cobalt Ultimate Output 4 amp hour. And because this has 21700 cells in it, I want to use a Ryobi that has 21700 cells in it. So this is the 3 amp hour compact HP battery. This is model number P195. And so, yeah, there, there is a one amp hour difference, but I want the Ryobi to use a 21700 cell battery since I haven't used this Ryobi in probably seven months. This is the best Cobalt has, uh, four amp hour, three amp hour, so it's really not that big of a difference, you guys, so please don't blow up my comments about it. Let's go over the specs of these really quick, then let's get to it. For the Cobalt, this is a brand new hammer drill, the XTR model that just came out, and this thing is, I only tested it a couple of times, it seemed to be doing pretty well. Well, we're going to see how well this actually goes against the Ryobi. This is model number KXHD124B-03. Uh, this is two speed settings. This goes to 0 to 550 RPM on speed 1 and 0 to 2000 RPM on speed 2. This does not say the beats per minute. I'll put the beats per minute now when it comes to the hammer feature. This is a 24-point clutch, and this has its own separate transmission for hammer feature. Drill. Sorry screw and then drill a half inch metal chuck fully metal chuck and so yeah so this is the cobalt xdr brushless hammer drill all right so for the ryobi this is a uh, model number p251 18 volt system a fully half inch metal chuck this uh two speed settings this goes to on speed one zero to 410 rpm and on speed two zero to 1800 rpm wow so this is a little bit slower 24 point clutch plus uh nope it's just a 24 point clutch it does have its own transmission for screw sorry drill screw and hammer and so yeah so that is the ryobi all right but let's see what these two can do against each other remember when you work wear gloves and safety glasses got mine right here Alrighty, so we will be using the cobalt first we are going to do a couple of tests with this really quick there you are we're gonna do a hard test first. All right, does this have a, a click back one? Yes, it does. Yep, drill. Speed two. All right, we're gonna do three holes. If this stops at any point, it failed the test. All right, so ready, go. It did it. It did it. Time. That, that's a hard task to do without stopping. That's a very hard task to do. Can Ryobi do the same thing? Let's find out. Put that on drill. Ryobi does not have the turn back one because if you turn back one, it loosens the bit. So that's on drill speed two. The battery is full. Let's see if Ryobi could uh, do all of these without stopping. And if it does stop, it fails. All right, so ready, go. Oh, doesn't count. It did it. Wow. It did that. That is a hard task to do without stopping. It, it really is. Thanks to the, the, those batteries really do help. All right, so next we are gonna do one and a quarter, one and a half inch uh, spade bit. Click back one. Right here is, nope, a little bit more. Right hit here is good. All right, so it's on speed two, it's on drill. Ready, go. It's through. It did it. All 
All right, so let's see if Ryobi can do the same. Now, I will be majorly impressed if it does. It's on speed two. <coughs> right here is good. All right, so ready? Go. Did it. See, like I said, Ryobi has the power. Like, why do they make a brand new HP Compact Series when they could upgrade this and make it even more powerful? Both of these are doing very well. I thought that one of them would fail some of these tests. These tests are hard to do on their highest speed. They really are. Alrighty, so what we are going to do next is we are going to actually drive in a 6-inch lag to see how much power this actually has. Cobalt does have a very robust handle. Got to give it props. I, I give it props for that. Ryobi is the worst handle on the, that ever was made. Ryobi needs to work on their handle. All right, it's on drill. It's on speed two. Let's see if this is able to do it. All right, so ready? Go. You can do it. Oh, I cut out. And it released the bit. Let's see. All right, I think that's as far as the, it can go. Let's try it some more. All right, one more time. Continue. No, that's as far as it can go. If the cold wasn't able to do that on speed two, Ryobi probably won't either. So we're just going to do it on speed one. And like I said, Ryobi does have the worst handle, which the, this is the handle. Which this is, this is, this is pathetic. You know, the only part that's really metal is the, the screw or the bolt. The, the housing around the bolt is plastic. And so, yeah, that, that's not a good handle. That's not. I'll be surprised if the Ryobi doesn't break on this. All right, so let's see if the Ryobi can drive it further than the Cobalt did. Right here is good. It's on speed one. All right, so ready? Go. You can do it. Nope, it gave out. Try again. So that is the end result for that. So both of them failed. But the Cobalt did drive it in further. So alrighty, for the final test, what we are going to do is we are going to actually try out the hammer feature. So hammer mode on speed two. Speed two. All right, so ready? Go. They could do it maybe a little bit more. Nope, that's that's time. All right, so let's do the Ryobi next. Right next to it is good. Speed two, it's on hammer feature. All right, so ready? Go. So you can go a little bit more. That is time. That is time. Very good. All right, and very quickly, the final battery life on the Cobalt is full bars still, and the Ryobi has three bars still. So 
this was a fair test if you ask me. It was a fair test. Alrighty, so there is the test between the Cobalt XTR brushless hammer drill versus the Ryobi brushless hammer drill. Now, like I said, Ryobi really needs to upgrade this. They really do. I do not know what the test results are until I edit the video, but I do know that when it comes to driving in those lags, the Cobalt one, uh, when it comes to the depth of the lag that was driven, but they both failed that test. And so it was an interesting one. I, I was seriously curious on how well these would do against each other. Alrighty, so if you found this video helpful and ent entertaining, please like this video. Please hit the bell button to be notified of future videos. And please subscribe to the channel. This is Dave Nicholas. Thank you for tuning in. I'll see you guys next time.